Test one, two, test one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can hear me in the group chat, please let me know. I do apologize as the sound was not working in the first period. If you could please give me some indication that we are working now, that would be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if you can hear me, please let me know. Okay, thank you, Mary Bocus. Thank you for the heads up again, folks. We do apologize. As we seem to be up and running again. It's amazing what happens by the click of a button. As we are almost set and ready to go here for... The third period, oh sorry, should I say second period, with the uh, Botano Jacks leading Tetons 2-1. to one. As both teams head back out onto the ice. As we're almost ready to go here for the second period, folks. As the sophomore line of Andy Williams, Tyler Forrest, and Chris Hilly are out there to start the second period off. Face off is won back by Tyler Forrest over to Kenny Garrett. As Bottle picked that puck off, they'll dump it back in in the Teton zone, picked off by Kuhn. Kuhn gives it over to Forrest. Forrest with speed coming into Bottle territory. Leaves it for Andy Williams. Andy Williams trying to make a play to front of net. Chris Hilly was driving, but it gets picked off by Bottnell, and they come back the other way. Bottnell coming, shot saved by Rommel, comes up to the point. Played down low where Andy Williams will pick it up. Picked off by Bottnell, however, they move it down low. Picked up by Garrett, he gives it over to Andy Williams, trying to make a play to Kuhn. Sticked it over to Chris Hilly, tried to find Tyler Forrest. That's a good stick by Tyler Forrest, dumps it in deep, no high stick and call on the play. And he'll wrap it around for Matt Mezik. Who gives it back to Tyler Forrest, shot by Lincoln, stopped, saved by the Bottle goaltender. Try. Good try by the Tetons there, good play. Tetons have come out in the second period with their legs moving, folks. As Miko Strengthen gives it over to Ryan Grushka, Ryan Grushka through the neutral zone, makes one nice move and another. He comes through in the zone, shot saved by the Bottle goaltender. Nice moves by Grushka there and good shot. Grushka picks the puck up. He moves it over to Miko Serenkin. Serenkin shot. Goal! What That's a, a goal! Snipe. By Miko Serenkin. He goes short side upstairs, folks, as we have a tie hockey game as Miko Serenkin with a absolute laser beam. What a shot, ladies and gentlemen, by Miko Serenkin. That's a that's a top shelf shot. Just right out of the shoulder of the Tendi. And I do believe that that will be Miko Serenkin's first goal as a Teton. As we come back to center ice, where the same line will stay out there of Grushka, Mezek, Lincoln, along with Miko Srenkin and Dalton Johnson on the blue line. As we seem to be missing a puck here, folks, there's no doubt the Tetons stole that one for Miko Srenkin. Face off. One by the Tetons, gives it over Matt Mezek, and straight away they're on the attack. Matt Mezek will dump it down low, leave it for Grushka to go and battle for it. Matt Mezik tried to pick it up behind the net, picked off there as the Jashers clear their lines down the length of the ice. And making that race is Miko Strankin, and an icing call will be called on the Jacks. The Tetons have come out for the second period with a whole different look, Angus. This, this, look. Is, this is the Tetons that we know and love. Exactly. It's uh, always exciting to see them when they are playing this way. 
as they are an exciting team to play with anyway. When they up their game, they really are top of the nation as the faceoff is won by the Jacks loose in front as the Griskis was tripped, no call on the play. As the Jacks come back down and they dump it into Teton territory, Henry Hoffman will pick it up behind the net. Loose in front, picked off by Matt Winkle. He tried to clear his lines, picked off by the Jacks though as they'll just dump it back down deep. As Jax with it behind the net now, trying to make a play in front. Shot stayed by Romero, loose in front. As that looked like a broken up play. Good chance for the Jax as it comes back for them down in the corner while Henry Hoffman will battle for it. He tried moving it off to Zignarzik. Zignarzik loses his man. As Henry Hoffman will just clear his lines. And that will be a icing call on the Jax. Uh, sorry, on the Tetons. Yeah, definitely a better look. Better look so far for the Tetons here in the, in the second period. 17.49 left, and we're tied at two. As I do apologize, folks. I will change the scoreboard here. As the faceoff will come to the right of Aaron Romerill. One back by the Jacks. He'll just jump in the far side corner. Battling for it is Henry Hoffman and Nikita Zagursic. He lays his man down. Shot Big comes in. Big hit and a nice block by Weltekal. Loose in front. Good a block nice by... block by Winkle. And a chance here for the Tetons. Lucas Ignarsic with the play. Gives it over to Matt Winkle. It was his just shot just goes wide. wide. Nice play by Zagursic. As the Jazz coming back the other way. And a two on two. Back check it is Ignarsic. And the shot comes in wide of the net. Picked out there by Winkle, who just cleared, cleared the zone, and that one will be dumped back in. As Weltko will just chip it up in the zone. Picked off by Zignarzik. Zignarzik with a move, loses the puck, and he goes crashing into the net. And that play will be blown dead. A very exciting start to the second period as both teams going back and forth. Tetons with the majority of the chances, however. As you just have to wonder what Coach Zern or Coach Bokas said in the locker room to get the Tetons fired up this way. As the faceoff will just come outside of the Botano Jack zone. As Ocon will go in with the draw. Sorry, Landsberg will go in with the draw. Ocon and Kraft in the wings. Faceoff one back by the Jacks. They'll regroup in, the, in their own zone. Good pick off there by Will Landsberg. He'll send it back down the length of the ice and allow Kraft to go and chase after it. Botnell just clear their lines. Comes over to Coon. Coon gives it over to Kenny Garrett. Garrett bounces off the boards, trying to find Kraft, just too far ahead of him. As the Jacks managed to clear their zone. And the Jacks come back the other way. Coming in shot off the mask of Romer. That goes into the corner where Land Landsberg will play it off to Ocon. Ocon off the boards, and he'll just clear out the length of the zone. They'll group in the neutral zone and fire it back down deep as Romero is there to play it. He'll use his backhand, gives it over to Kraft on the half wall. Who gives it over to Landsberg. Landsberg tries to find Ocon, he does. He tries to pick it in deep one-handed. Doesn't quite work out for him. As Teton's need to get a line change here as they're looking tired as Tyler Forrest is out with fresh like Shot just goes over the top of the net. Loose in front and cleared oh. off the line. Payne Ocon with a wide open net. Cleared off the line by the defense. Andy Williams with a shot. Gets blocked and goes up in the netting. Close call there for the Jacks. As the Tetons had a chance to make this a 3-2 hockey game. Man, it seems to be a bouncy puck today, for sure. A lot of weird opportunities for both teams here in the, in the game so far. As we have a few people shouting for the Tetons. I'm not too sure if they're trying to chirp or if they are encouraging them. As that puck comes over to Chris Hilly, picked off by the Jacks. As they try to clear the zone, good hit by him to break off that play. However, the Jacks make it out of the zone and they'll come into Teton territory. As they battle for it, comes in the corner for Chris Hilly. He'll make a play over to Forrest. Forrest will try and chip it out of the zone. Gets picked off there on the blue line by the Jacks defender and he'll just chop it back in deep. Down for it is Miko Starenkinen. As that comes behind the net to Dalton Johnson. Dalton Johnson with a nice move behind the net. Hey, he has time. He makes a play out the middle, gives it over to Hilly. Hilly dumps it in deep. And that will be gloved down by the goaltender. And he'll just hold that one. 
We are at 15-10 left in the second period. As this one has definitely uh, upped in the up in the speed scale. As Grushka steps in for the faceoff with Lincoln and Mezik on his wings. Faceoff won by the Tetons as it comes to Grushka down low. Grushka with it in the corner. He makes a nice move. Just gets spinned off the puck. However, he gives no it over to. No call on that. It's weird. The shot gets padded aside. By the Bontnall goaltender. They'll battle for it down low. As Bontnall will come out with the puck. They go through a neutral zone. Picked off there by Cole Welchko. Grushka has it on the red line. He'll just chip it back down deep. Almost kept in there by Lincoln as Jacks come out with the puck. Good back check by Lincoln there. To he force the turnover. He does have great speed. As he managed to knock his man off the puck. That's Henry Hoffman in there down for it. Playing in front by the Jacks. Just gets picked off there by Grushka. As he forces his man in the corner. But they'll battle for it now. Still batting for it are the Tetons. It comes out the point stick to side by Rahmer. As Tetons are looking tired here in their own zone. They have to try and get this puck out. It comes out to the blue line. Shot comes in. Just goes wide of the net. Henry Hoffman up on that blue line to make sure that puck goes out. Picked up by Mezik. Two on two opportunity for the Tetons. Mezik trying to make a move. Stick to side by the Jacks. It goes into the corner. Will he will battle for it. Good battle by Mezik. Almost gets the puck. Still battling there. A great battle by Mezik. Tying up players. The turnover. Allows it to come up to Kuhn. Kuhn gives it over to Kenny Garrett. Garrett throws it in front of the net. Just goes wide. And that will be picked off by the Jacks. A chance for them to come back. They come in. Nice move. Comes into the middle. Loose in front. Still loose in front. As Tetons manages to clear their lines. And, and the Jacks will regroup in the neutral zone. It's picked up by Zagriskis. It was picked off by the Jackson. He'll just fire back into Teton territory where Matt Winkle will collect it. Trying to make a play out of the zone. Give it on to the front. Nice move shot and into the chest of Aaron Romerl. Nice save by Romer there. As again, the Tetons just have to be careful. They need to make sure they're getting the puck out of the zone. Now we have a loud student section here tonight by uh, Dakota College here. They are a lively bunch as a uh, we can hear them up here. I'm trying to encourage their team, but I think they're more focused on trying to knock the Tetons off of their game. As the faceoff comes to the right of Aaron Romwell, Tyler Forsen with the draw. He wins it back to Sarenkinen, who will play it behind the net to himself. Plays it off the glass up to Chris Hilly. Referee just seems to be in the ray there. As Tyler Forrest picked off that pass from the Jacks. Tyler Forrest comes into the zone, and an offside call on Chris Hilly. He was just a little bit too far ahead of the play. As that was a close call there for the Jacks as Tetons were moving in with speed. As Will Landsberg will be out there with Kraft and Cody Johnson on his wings. That's right, it moves it over to Johnson. Johnson, good forecheck by him, causing that turnover. Picked up by Kraft as that will go up into the netting and out of play. Cody Johnson first shift of the game for him as he has definitely proven that he is uh, very much alive as his feet were moving there. As the faceoff will come to the left of the Jacks goaltender. Jacks win the faceoff back as they come through the neutral zone. Good, Good stick by Dalton Johnson. That one's picked off there as well. Lansford comes into the zone. As Kraft seems to be hit from behind. Comes to Peyton. Sorry, Cody Johnson there. Good forward the check by the Tetons. As the Jazz come back the other way. Down in the Teton territory. I'd like to abide by Miko Srenkinen. A big shalazza. That's a penalty call on the Jacks. The flash call will be called against the Jacks on Miko Srenkinen. As that one will be called down offside. As number 91 for the Jacks will set a two minute slashing call as your Tetons get the first power play of their game.
So we are at 12.03 left in the second period. As the fans power of play line of Grushka Williams and Tilly out there with Hoffman and Tyler Forrest on the blue line face off one back to Henry Hoffman. As Hoffman just loses that puck in the blue line, he was just outnumbered there. As Jacks are still forcing hard. Good move by Romer. Oh, nice little backhand toe drag by him. Just to free up a little bit of time. For, gives it over to Williams. Williams with speed through the outside, trying to make a move towards the middle. Picked up there by Hilly. Hilly tried to play it down low. Andy Williams was stripped in front of the net. No call on the play as that one just goes up and out of play, and it will be blown dead. And that's the second, second same kind of play on Williams tonight. The refs need to keep their eyes open for, for plays like this. It's not, should be some calls made on those kind of plays. Oh, they know what the. And all the skill and scoring ability Andy Williams has as the Jacks are just trying to get into his head. As the faceoff is one back to the Tetons, Grushka has it. He'll just toss it down low for Hilly. Hilly, Williams, and Grushka battling for it down low. As it comes out to Williams, Williams out to Forrest. Forrest blocks, shot, gets the batted out of the air. And no high sticking call, so the Jacks manage to clear it out. As Romer gives it over to Hoffman. Hoffman over to Williams. Williams with the puck, wound to move, and another one. And he has a lot of space here as he comes through the zone with speed. Gives it over to Hilly. And that one will be picked off by the Jacks. As far as Henry Hoffman, he's trying to make a pass. Jacks have a chance to come back now. There's a good stick, stick by, by Tyler Forrest. Forrest. Break out that play. He's now driving the net as Chris Hilly has the puck. He tries to make a play in front as it goes into the corner. And again, up and out of play. So we're at 10.45 left in the in the second period with, if I, if I can bend down on my knees to see the clock here, we're looking at, I think, about 30 seconds left in the Teton power play. It is less than a minute anyway. Yeah, we're working with a really small area here tonight, tonight in the media box. Our view is very limited, and so is yours, I believe, so we apologize for that. As the faceoff will come out of the zone. One back by the Tetons. Zagurskis gives it over to Garrett. Garrett will just try and wrap around the boards. Gets in the way of the skate of the referee. Clearance attempt by the goaltender. Picked off there by Zagurskis. Zagurskis moves it down low for Kraft. Kraft will give it over to Winkle. Winkle will give it up to Dalton Johnson. Dalton Johnson will watch the blue line. Give it back to Winkle. Winkle with a shot. Loose in front by Kraft. Shot just goes Good wide of the net. And it just didn't sit right for Zagurskis. As it picked up by Garrett. Garrett down for Zagurskis. Zagurskis with it behind the net. He tries to play it in front. Off a couple of skates. Shot by Winkle. Gets swallowed up by the goaltender. As Kraft takes a cross jack to the back. Again, no call on the play. As that is Kraft's job there on the power play just to get in the face of the goaltender and into the heads of the defense. As the faceoff is won back by the Jacks, and that will be the end of the Tetons power play. Not a lot of chances for the Tetons on that power play. It comes back to Lincoln with a shot, gloved. Nice good by shot the by Lincoln Tinker. there. As the faceoff will come to the right, won again by Grushka. As it will come to Lincoln, he'll play it down for Grushka. So it comes out to Mikko Strenkin on the point, trying to make a play to the front of the net. Picked off there by the defense of the Jacks. Who's in front as Matt Magitrep manages to keep the zone. As Lincoln tried to find a... Lincoln tried to find Grusha driving to the net, sorry. As uh, Jacks managed to regain the puck and they'll try and hold it. Find their own net. Puck comes out to Strenkin on the point. He'll move it down low for Grushka. As the Jacks are able to pick that one off and clear the zone only as far as Dalton Johnson who will gain the red line and fire it back down. As the Jacks are again managed to pick that one off. However, it's picked off by Miko Strenkin and shot. Just goes by the net. Shot comes in from Lincoln. And that one goes off the side of the net. 
Good Jazz. back check by Lincoln there. Jazz come back the other way. Staked away by Lincoln. And it comes back as far as the red line where the Jazz will regroup it. Nice move coming in. Try to pass in front. Picked off there by Sarenkin. And loose in front. Still loose in front. As that one will be swallowed up by Romer as he took a couple of sticks to the wrists there. Again, they'll call on the play. The rest here at Botno seem to be letting the little, little slashes and trips go. As we'll see if that will result into any anything else later on in the game. As Andy Williams will step in for the draw with Tyler Forrest and Chris Hilly, along with Travis Kuhn and Kenny Garrett in defense. Face off one's one back by the Tetons, however, they have to battle for it as Jazz come in hard shot, just goes off the side of the net. As again loose in front, Jazz have it on the half wall now. They make a move around the front, now loose in front of the net. Nice block by Tyler Forrest right there. Shot was blocked by Tyler Forrest, he felt that one as he's taking a hobble to the bench. As Andy Williams try to find Chris Healy moving towards the front of the net just out of his reach as the Jazz come back the other way. As the Jazz managed to get the puck deep into Teton territory as Kenny Garrett will go in and battle for it. Still batting for it, Tetons have three players down low, they have to watch out here. Good save by Romer with a blocker. And another good save by Romer as he'll swallow that one up. As we're at seven minutes and 46 seconds left here in the second period, Tetons just look, look to have lost that edge of their speed. They want to make sure they can get that back. Face off is won by the Jazz, good block by Lukas Ignarzik. And that one will go up and out of play. Seven forty-three remaining in the second period. Face off on the right side of Merrill. And the face off is won back by the Tetons. Winkle who took the draw will go back and collect it. So he plays it off to Lukas Ignarzik. Plays it to the middle where Zagurskis will find it. As he has Winkle going in front of the net. Pass attempt goes off his skate. As Zagurskis takes a tumble off his... He seems to trip over his own feet there. And a whistle. I'm not too sure what that whistle was for. Maybe the referee just wanted to know that he's still alive. As the face-off will come to the right of the Jacks net. Played in front by Winkle as it goes in the corner. And Jacks will come back with it. Jacks come back into the zone. Picked off there by Hoff and good stick by him. As the Tetons come back the other way. As it is loose. Jacks managed to regain possession. They'll just dump it down deep while Cole Welsko will go ahead and chase after it. He gives it over to Hoffman. Often try to make a play off the boards, picked off there by the Jacks again as it goes down deep. Loose in front pass, picked off by Zagnarzik, gives it over to Zagurskis. Zagurskis casually walking in the zone, tries to get it in deep. Right, that one's turned over, a good back check again by Lincoln using his great speed, breaking up that play. Yeah, Lincoln Just, definitely has great speed when it comes to, when it comes to back check, forward check. He definitely has some wheels. Yeah, as the Jacks. Trying to make that play out again as they managed to. All it comes as far as Lincoln though is it just pops over his stick. A chance for the Jacks to come back in. And that one goes in the corner where Dalton Johnson will battle for it. As he loses that battle, loose in front. An attempt shot from behind the net by the Jacks. Misses as it will come down the length of the ice. And that one will be up and out of play by the Jacks. They say they try to go off, and off the glass. And it will be blown dead. So that whistle will bring out Will Landsberg, Logan Kraft, and Peyton Ocon. As Jackson has to clear their lines down the length of the ice. 
And a icing call on the Jacks. As we will try that one again. Face off again, one by the Jacks loose in front, picked off by the Jacks as Crack was there with it. As it comes down into Teton territory, Jacks with a shot saved by Romrel. As it comes in the corner where Lansbury played up to Ocon. Ocon trying to make a play off the glass, picked off there by the Jacks loose in front now. Sorry, should I say loose behind the net? As Will Lansbury battled for it, he gives it over to Kraft on the half wall. He comes back. The same way, he'll make a play out through the middle. Try to find Landsberg in the middle, just popped over his stick. Good try with a little chip there, just out of reach for Landsberg. As I'll bring fresh legs here for the Tetons. As that will be sent down the length of the ice. And again, an icing call on the Jacks. 5.02 here remaining in the second period. Shots in, in the favor of of the Jacks, 19-17 for the Tetons. So the face-off will be to the left of the Jacks goaltender with Tyler Forrest, Andy Williams, and Chris Hilly. That famous line out there with Kuhn and Garrett. As I say, caught Garrett up high in the face as he just swatted that one out of the hands of the Jacks player. And the student section is given Kenny Garrett something to think about, apparently. And his shot just falling on the blue line there by Garrett. As loose in front of Chris Hilly, shot goes off oh. and post. That's three posts the Tetons have had so far in this game. Good play by, by the forwards there. Just so close to hit the post. As Tyler Forrest not happy with that hit. So he seemed that he had his legs taken out from under him. He is not happy about that call. As it is a loud crowd here tonight. As we are pretty much right above it as we can hear every single word. As that one did come out of play, the referee took his time to blow it dead. As we will retry that one. Crucio stepping into the draw with Matt Meza, Cam Winkle on his wings. With Coon and Garrett on the blue. Face off, one back by the Jacks. They come through the zone now. Good, Good. back check by Lincoln once again. We've been saying that a lot tonight. It is making a difference here. It's Good save by Ronald off the blocker. A chip and goal move by Grushka. That one just come back down deep. Picked off there by Lincoln. A good read by him. He'll just sail it down in to the glove of the goaltender. And he will not play that one. The Tetons need to get their legs moving again. Is uh you know they're bumping a lot of bodies from the Jacks. Early on in the period at the start, you know, they were. They were so fast that the Jacks couldn't even keep up with them, so they need to get back into that playing style. As they are a fast, greedy team. As Matt Winkle will go into the draw with Williams and Christopher Hilly. As that will be chopped in deep by Chris Hilly. And sticked up and out of play again by the Jacks. There surely are some. Low glasses here at the rink. Puck goes out of the play a lot. We like to think that uh, the home rink of the Jacks, they would like to be used to it and be able to knock it off the glass and send it length of the ice, but uh, maybe it's one of their tactics as an ACHA college hockey that uh, you know there is no delay of game penalty, so they're quite happy just to take the whistle if they bump it off, off, the, uh, off the netting. Shot from Henry Hoffman gets deflected in front, goes wide. 
That's a good stick from Henry Hoffman. Breaks up that play. And back come the Jacks. Henry Hoffman with it in his own zone. He tried to make a play up to the front. Loose in front, saved by Romerill. As Winkle has it on the half boards. He tries to move it out to Williams. Doesn't quite manage it. Jacks come back with the puck. They make a pass. Back door, loose in front. Stuff and saved by Romerill and swallowed up by Romerill. We are at three minutes and 18 seconds left here in the second period. Faceoff will be to the left of Aaron Romerill's net. As Grushko will be out there with Lincoln and Mezik. As Grushko tries to battle for it, loose in front, pass, shot, save. Oh, misses and the shot. Thankfully. Uh, Jack's player had a wide open net on that one. So Jack's moved over to blue line. He'll wrap it around the line, down and in behind the Teton net. Miko Strankin battling for it as it goes out to blue line where Matt Mezik will try and battle for it. As it comes in loose to his feet as his stick was knocked out of his hands. As Dalton Johnson moves over to Lincoln. Lincoln will just slow it up. He'll knock it on for Grushka in the corner. Grushka will try and play it onto himself. Picked Big up there by hit Jacks. by Grushka. As he makes a nice hit. As Jacks managed to come back the other way. Good stick by Sorenkin there. As it comes over to Dylan Lincoln. Dylan Lincoln with a nice move. He comes through the middle. He tries a shot and that one will be swallowed up by the goaltender. As Jack's number six, you seem to have to hold on Lincoln, and Lincoln sent him crashing into the boards. As Jack seems to be looking for a penalty on that play, they will not get it. Yes, yeah, so and feel the tensions are, are rising against, again, once here. Well, it is a close game. The puck not sitting right for both teams. It has only twice, and... And those two times they have scored, both teams have scored. That's a good battle there from Travis Kuhn. Gives it over to Garrett. Garrett gives it to Williams. Williams circles. He makes the move. He comes through into the zone. Makes another move. And that will just come into the corner where he'll battle for it. Try to move it up to the point. Picked off there by the Jacks. Good stick there by Kuhn. As the Jacks just managed to break it out of the zone. And a breakaway chance for the Jacks here. As a diving po check from Romwell sends that one into the corner. Good hit by Garrett there. As Forrest will just clear his lines. So guys get that one out of the zone. As Forrest picks up that puck, he comes through the zone with speed. Gives it over to Zignarzik. And another offside call on the Tetons. And Coach Bocas disagrees with that call since he thinks the referee wasn't on the line. When Cole step in with the draw, he wins it back to Weltko. Weltko will send it down into the Jacks territory. And Jacks will just clear the length of the ice as we have the indication that there is one minute left in the second period. As Henry Hoffman comes through the neutral zone, he will try and dump it in deep. Picked off there by the Jacks as he comes to the half wall for them. That's a good play by Zagurski. Managed to break that play up. He tried to find Lucas Ignarzik. Doesn't quite work out for him. Jacks come back the other way. And a penalty on the Jacks here. As we're in the final 30 seconds left of the period. As the referee did have his hand up and then decided just to play it down again. Not too sure what his hand was up for. Maybe at the laid off side. However, you would have thought that it would have been the linesman who did that. And no call on the play. As well, seconds wind down. We have 10 seconds remaining in the second period here. As the guards with the shot. 
And that one will be sticked aside. And we had a little bit of a tuffle here as well. Coast seems to be going. He's looking for a dance partner. As he had one guy punch him in the face. We have Zagurskis at number 74 here. As Ziggy and number 74 as Ziggy tries to get his helmet off. Both of them are trying to go at it. As they both start tumbling into the ice. And yet again, same as last time, the goaltender for Bono trying to get into the play. As it looks like Ramos just seems to be heading to the bench, not too sure if he was looking for the other goaltender. He seems to get involved. But it just seems that he'll head to the bench. Yep, the tension is rising once again here. Again, the Jacks throwing in the little slashes in behind the play. And yet, the referee is doing nothing about it, so the Tetons take matters into their own hands and defend themselves quite rightly so. As we'll see if there is any penalties on the play. Anyway, folks, we'll be back in about 15 minutes as we head for our intermission break. Tetons are tied 2-2 two two with Dakota College Botno. Do not go anywhere.
Welcome back, folks. As uh, we're ready to go here in the third period. Just waiting for teams to head to their respective benches. As there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a tussle after. I'm sorry, should I say once the third period is finished? Second period, sorry. As uh, referee is just collecting the right players, sending them to the box. As the fans are rowdy. Fans are rowdy, players are rowdy, and we are ready to go here, ladies and gentlemen. For this third period, Pitter Powder, let's get at her. As the faceoff is won by the Jacks. They enter the T-Tone zone straight away. Picked off there by Andy Williams in the half wall. Tries to move it out to Forrest. And he does so. Gives it over to Hilly. He'll just drip it in deep. He'll go and chase after it. As he sticks him off the puck and sends him crashing into the boards. He trades places with Williams, who'll go and chase after it. Who will trade places again? As Tetons causes that turnover, Andy Williams coming in, shot! Just goes wide of the net there. As it will come back down into Teton territory where Garrett will pick it up and by his own net he will stop. Try and find the high guy coming in. And that one was whistled down offside. An attempted stretch pass there by Garrett intended for what I think was Chris Hilly. Was picked off by the Jacks on the blue line. Just seemed to go out of play, oh sorry, just over the blue line where the play was blown dead as offside. Grushko will step in for the draw. As the Jacks will come out there in the neutral zone. Picked up there by Dalton Johnson. Gives it over to the blue line. Shot goes in and stopped by Romerol. Face off to Ron Rule's left. One back by the Jacks. They move it down into the corner. Tossed in front and stopped on the hill by Ron Rule. As we will replay that one. That will be one back by the Tetons. Dalton Johnson comes out with it. He moves it up to Lincoln. Lincoln pushed off the puck. As the Jazz come back in the zone again, a good, a good back check by Lincoln. As he comes away with the puck, he will come through with speed. Beat one guy, beats another guy. As Mezik's there to pick up that puck and in support, gives it over to Grushka. Grushka try to give it all to Johnson, however it turns slap shot and gets blocked. And it'll go into the corner where it's picked up by the Jacks. Jazz coming through the neutral zone into Teton territory. And that one going to the corner. Don Johnson will find his man, he'll lay the body. As it's picked up by Grushka in the middle. He'll give it over to Lincoln, just out of his reach, as Grusha will come back and get it. As Mezik will come up with it on the red line, he'll just dump it down in the length of the ice. And then throw it in. Throw it in on the goaltender. As the Jacks will come through in the Teton territory, one move. Henry lays him out. And as it's battle for it behind the net, Wells called there to collect it, gives it over to Ocon. Also battling for it is Will Landsberg as it's still battled for. Comes down in front of the jack shot, muffin on it as it goes wide. Shot goes up high, blocked away by Romero. As it goes down into the corner, where the Jacks will pick it up and walk up to the blue line. There's a great hit nice there little by hit. Payne Ocon. That's a as big that gets hit. the Teton bench going. It's a clean hit on number nine. There's nothing wrong with that. As the Jacks actually think it was Kraft. And Ocon is there to say get out of his face. As that was a good hit by Ocon. Very clean. There's nothing to complain about that in my opinion. Shoulder on shoulder. No head contact. Number nine is up again so... I don't, I don't see what's the problem here. Clean hit. As the Jacks are not happy about it, again spitting their dummies out of the pram. Going back in to the bench. 
And it's definitely what the Jacks are. They seem to be a very uh, chirpy team, very dirty team. That's happened twice now that we've been in Bontnall. However, when it's been at the Tetons home rink, they were very quiet as they went home, the toes between their legs. And we'll see if that will be the outcome of tonight. As there's still some shouting between the benches. I don't understand what's taking so long. As the Jacks need one more player out on the ice, that is what was taking it so long. As their face off will be won back by the Tetons. Giving it over to Garrett. Garrett moves it over to Kuhn. Kuhn tries to throw it on that blocker side by the goaltender. And he will cover that one up. As there is a Chan going. Smart people in Botno. Very nice. smart. Shouting for the Tetons tonight. Even though they have the Botno attire. That's the face off was won by the Jacks as they bow for in the corner. Picked off there by Garrett. He has a chance to shoot. Stopped. And covered by the goaltender. As the face off will be won back by the Tetons again. Shot at 10, blocked by the Jacks. It's a break route for them. Good stick by Garrett. Break that one up. As Gershus has it on the half wall, gives it over to. Oh. That is Luka, Luka Zignarzik, should I say. Shot. And a huge hit there on Zakurskis. As Zagurskis wants to go with him. Is that he had his head down and his back turned and no yeah. call on the play. That was a late hit on Zagurskis. Could have been called off. Could and yet again, called. in Botno, the referee's doing nothing about it. Yep. And it will escalate as it always does. It always does when referees don't have control of the game. You can, you can also kind of expect what you're coming to and what you will get when you come to Botno. It's always the same. It is just teams having a whack and then referees doing nothing about it so the player has a whack back. And then they whack them back and they whack each other back and then it just gets out of hand, so. A little bit of mismatch for possession there as uh, Miko Serenkin will just dump it down into the jack zone. As Jazz come away with it in the neutral zone, picked off there by Mezik. As the Jazz come back with it into the Teton territory. Picked up by Williams. Williams gives it over to Forrest. Forrest will just chip it in deep and allow Messick to go in and chase after it. Good forward check by Messick there. Uh, also a good puck. hit by Lincoln on the boards. It's chipped up and sent down the length of the ice by the Jacks, so that will be a nice and call. It is a hard building to play in in Bontno. It's small, it's very narrow. And when you're playing a team like Bontno who like to take little backs at you, it does get frustrating. As the shot comes in from Hoffman, just misses wide of the net there. As he can't quite hold the blue line on the second attempt. And it's given up to Grushka by Hoffman. Grushka with a nice move, throws it in front of the net and gloved by the goaltender. Just over 50 minutes left to play here in the third period. As that is sent down the length of the ice, no icing call. As the puck just didn't quite reach it. As Hoffman moves it over to Winkle. Winkle over to Zagurskis. Zagurskis tried to give it over to Luca. He does so. Luca tried to give it back to him. And it just didn't quite work out. As the Jazz come back into the zone. 
And he's laid out there by Kuhn. Nice hit by him. Good little hit. Good uh, aggressive Tetons. play by Kuhn to force the Getting turnover. Getting over to Two on opportunity for the Tetons. Zagurskis with a move. Try the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move and shot there by Zagurskis. Get the D, get the D out of the way by a little move. And nice little shot. Nice save by the 10 2 Peyton Ocon just seems to lose the draw there. I thought he was going to win it. As the Jazz coming away with the puck in their own zone. Picked off there by Garrett in the neutral zone. And dumped back in deep. Where Will Landsberg win and chase after it. The Jazz come out with the puck now in the neutral zone. They into the Teton territory. Shot goes up. Up high and gloved down by Romer. Faceoff will be to the left of Aaron Romerol with 14.07 left in the third period. The Tetons still tied it two with Dakota College Botno. As the faceoff is won by Tyler Forrest. Takes an awkward bounce off the glass and comes back to him. So he just rimmed it around the boards. Tried to find Andy Williams. He didn't, didn't quite get there as it's played down low by Botno. Botno with it. Pass in front. And the shot just goes wide of the net there. Not too sure if Romerol got a piece of it or not. As Williams with it right in front of his own net, picked off there, shot goes off the post of Bono. Good stick there by Tyler Forrest to intercept the pass. And an attempted break pass for Bono. Gets picked off by Forrest. Forrest coming in now, shot. Just goes off the blocker of the goaltender. The goaltender didn't seem to move very much, took him a little bit by surprise. Shot goes in front, tipped. And saved by the goaltender off Forrest. Hilly manages to get the blue line. As Chris Hilly manages to clear lines and sends it down the length of the ice. Picked up by Botnell in their own zone. Good stick by Forrest. Loose puck in front. Picked off again by Botnell. As it comes back to Mikos Rankinen. Who will give it over to Forrest. Who will chip it down in deep and allow Matt Medis to go in and chase after it. As Gushko will pick out the puck in the Teton zone. A little bit of change in possession as Cole Welthko comes out with the puck in the corner. Nice move by him and another one. He creates a little bit of space and a four on two for the Tetons. He tried to give it over to Lincoln, just didn't quite manage it. And now a breakaway for the Jacks. As the shot comes in and Romer is down as they drove the net. And that will be a penalty on the Jacks, quite rightly so, as he didn't make any attempt to make that puck go in the net. He just drove it towards the net. And no call. And, well, the referee pointed to the player and told him to get to the box. But instead he heads to the bench. Yeah, that was a scary situation on there, guys driving over. It seems like Romer will be okay. He just takes his time. Okay, it's a little slip of water and then. We should be able to go back up and at it again. Trey comes on the ice just to see if Romer is all right. He does seem a little bit shooken up. As we will take our time here, make sure Ann Romero is all right. As trainer, trainer Emily gives the okay to Romer to continue. Scary situation when 
guys drive to the net with, with a lot of speed. Well, as goaltenders, we can tell you that it does hurt. I was knocked out twice last year from players driving the net. It is a scary situation, especially when you wake up not knowing where you are. Seems like Romer will be okay and able to continue. That's a good thing that he's okay. He's been he's been playing good this game, and we definitely need him for the rest of the game. Face off one back by the Jacks to the blue line. Shot blocked up high by Zagriskis. As Winkle will pick up the puck, he'll just chip it off the glass and send it down into the neutral zone. Well, the Jacks will regain possession and chip it back down deep. Ron with the puck, he moves it over to Zignarzik. Zignarzik tried to find Kuhn, didn't quite manage to do so as it comes back into the ter neutral zone where the Jacks will dump it down into Teton territory. There's a swing to miss by Travis Kuhn, causes that turnover behind the net. Chance for the Jacks, good save by Romro. As here come the Jack, here come the Tetons, sorry. That's Gerskis with the puck. He tries to make a move back door. Loose in front now. As Tetons need to try and make a little bit more of their opportunities here. As I believe both Kenny Garrett. Will be going to the box. Two minute penalty for cross checking. And yet again, we have Rowdy fans giving Kenny Garrett a warm welcome in the penalty box. As the Tetons will go back on the penalty kill, they'll send Lincoln and Grushka out there as the forwards with Henry Hoffman and Cole Welchko in defense. As the face off is won back by the Tetons. As Grusho will pick up the puck off of Henry Hoffman, give it over to Lincoln. Lincoln trying to make a move to the middle. As that one is turned over and comes back the other way. Shot nice block by block. Weltico. Yeah, good block by Weltico there. That one goes up and out of play. Still tied 2-2 two to two here in the third period with... Just over 11 minutes left in the third period. This faceoff is one back by the Jacks up top. They move it over. And then it gets moved down low. Back up top. Over to the middle. Pass attempt down low. Picked off by Weltko. As the Jacks manage to keep the zone. Giving it over. Loose in front now. Hilly picks up the puck. And he sends that one down the length of the ice. Where the goaltender will go out and play it, try and move it up to the Jacks, and he does so. And it's picked off there by Grushka. As the Jacks will regroup in the neutral zone. Lincoln with a good job there, take it. taking the Jacks back into their own zone. And it's picked up by Dalton Johnson, possibly a, possibly a break for him. As he'll just walk into the blue line and fire on net. Let the goaltender go out and play it. And as the Jacks look to move this one out. With 35 seconds left in the penalty kill for the Tetons. Good back check by Dalton Johnson to break up that play. Given over, shot good block by Miko Sarenkinen. As that one went up and out of play. Oh, face off to the left of Aaron Romwell after that puck went out of play. One over to Henry Hoff and he tried to chip it off out. And it comes up to the blue line shot loose in front as that was blocked by Cole Welchko. Picked off there by Winkle. 15 seconds remaining in the penalty kill. Looks like the Tetons will kill this off. That's a big kill with 9.28 remaining in the third. As Grishis picks out the puck in the blue line, he would just clear the zone. And the Tetons are even. Five on five hockey resumes. 
As Kenny Carroll will head to the bench, bringing on Lukas Rinkinen. Two new players for the Tetons in the new year, as well as Mikko Rinkinen with a big goal in tonight's game. And it's picked up by Zagurskis. Good read by him to intercept that play. As he'll give it over to Winkle. He'll try and give it back out top. Good stick there by the Jacks defenseman as he Jacks come back down three on two. Shot comes in, goes wide. As battle for it are both teams with Henry Hoffman and Travis Kuhn battling for the Tetons as it comes behind the net for the Jacks. That's a good hit there by Winkle. As Henry Hoffman gets stuck down behind the play. Again, no call. As Henry Hoffman will collect it behind his own net. He'll give it over to Winkle. Winkle will sail it down into the neutral zone. Try to find Chris Hilly. Doesn't quite manage to do so. Good hit As by Travis Kuhn. Jacks come back the other way. A good stick by Luka Zignarzik. And that one gets chopped up and out of play. Exactly eight minutes left here in the third period. Teton still tied at two. As the Jacks win the faceoff back. And again, that one goes up and out of play. A lot of stops and starts in this game. As the faceoff will come back again to the left of Aaron Romerol. One over to Dalton Johnson. That one's played in front. McToff there by Sarenkinen. As the Tetons managed to clear their lines. Only comes as far as the Jacks. We were on the red line waiting for the puck. Who dumped it back into the zone. As Sarenkinen is in behind the net. He gives it over to Williams. Makes a nice move over into the middle. Tried to find Tyler Forrest who wasn't looking for the puck. So that one was dumped in deep. An awkward bounce off the boards meant that Romerl could not play it. As a pass from Miko goes over to Andy Williams. Miko Sarenkin in there. Tried to hold it in the zone. Doesn't quite manage to do so but he managed to put his guy down so there's not a break for the Jacks. And as Tyler Forrest will just chip it in down the length of the ice. Where the Jacks will break it back out again. And that's going to be an icing call against the Jacks. Angus, what do you think of the, the period so far? It's surely been an exciting. It has been an exciting one. Not too many chances for the teams. There's been a post for the Jacks. A nice little close two-on-one for the Tetons. Yet still no score in this third period. And the Tetons, I think, need to get their legs moving again like they did at the start of the second period. If they're going to come away with a W here tonight, as the Jacks come out through the neutral zone. Kenny forces his guy to the side, sticks it in the corner where Olcon will pick it up. Olcon stands his man up. And a tripping call on there, and again, no penalty, as that was blatant. Up only but no, folks. As John Bolk is having serious words with the referee. As the referee simply watched it happen. As the pass in front, good save good by Rommel. Big save. Big save. Bell his team out and a hit from behind on Kraft. As that will be whistled down, a clear hit from behind. For me, that should be a five minute misconduct, sorry, game misconduct. Five minute power play for the Tetons. No doubt the referee is only going to give him two minutes. As Kraft is not moving, folks, as uh, we apologize for the camera angle, as you can only see his legs because of the wall. But he has not moved since he went down. As it will be a two minute boarding call. Oh, it's going to be a five. Is it going to be a five? It's going to be a five minute call. Quite rightly so. As it should be. For once, the referees have done their job correctly. Thank you.
as captain of the Jacks, Iger in the call. Tetons aren't going to pay much attention to it as the call's already been made. As you just felt that something had to go in favor for the Tetons as far as penalty goes as there was a couple of times that Olcom was tripped behind the play. Kenny Garrett took a couple of slashes and there was no call made. However, if there was no call on that one on Kraft, then you really should start worrying. Either way, Tetons going to five minute power play. As Henry Hoffman manages to keep the zone. Battling for it are the Jacks. They manage to clear their lines. And a nice play by Forrest, gives it over to Andy. Andy Williams enters the zone. And he's forced off the puck, where Henry Hoffman will collect it. As they're just trying to free up a little bit of space, a little bit of time, uh, as Grushka seems to have managed to do that. Gives it over to Forrest. Forrest walks in, shot. Let's block it aside by the goaltender. As it's given over again by Forrest, who shoots again. And that one was blocked away by the goaltender again. Managing to keep the line is Forrest. He'll play it down to Grushka. Grushka gives it over to Hoffman. Hoffman tries to, to give it, it down in. to Andy Williams. Williams over to Forrest. Forrest tried to find Chris Hilly in the front of the net. However, Hilly gives it over to Williams. Williams over to Hoffman. Hoffman over to Forrest. Forrest tried to give it back to Williams in the back door. That's a good power play here. The on shot comes in. Saved by the goaltender. Big save by him. And that should not have been blown dead by the referee as Teton still had possession of the puck. As yet again. Couldn't really see what happened there, but. Number 21 did this last game as they were on. And he's up. Horrible with, lines. Yeah, he's up. As he is, nothing wrong with him there. As he just took a little tumble in the side just to stay down, hope the referee will call, call it down. As he pretends that he can't walk. He probably will be back in, uh, in a minute or so. To... Well, but no. Again, you shouldn't, referee should not have blown that dead as Teton still had possession of the puck. They should only have blown dead once the Jacks regained possession of the puck as it would have denied the Tetons of a scoring opportunity. However, we're ready to go here again on the Teton power play. Just over three minutes left. As it's given up to Dalton Johnson on the blue line. Dalton Johnson will walk, shot, blocked in front. And the Jacks will come back the other way in a two on two. Good defense by Johnson there to force the guy out. As he'll break that play up where Winkle will pick it up behind his own net. Jackets will for, force hard. Give it over to Zagurskis. Nice pass. gives it over to Winkle. Winkle tried to find Lincoln in front of the net, didn't quite manage it. And it's cleared down by the Jacks. There's roughly under three minutes left in the Teton power play. Four minutes remaining in the third period. As Tyler Forrest will regain it in behind his own net. Where Forrest gives it over to Zagurskis. Zagurskis over to Grushka. A lot of speed out here right now for the Tetons. Grusha try to play in front. Good save there by the goaltender and disrupt that one. As it's given over to Williams. Williams gives it over to Zagurskis. Zagurskis with a shot and left down by the goaltender. The Tetons want to get opportunities. I believe they have to try and get traffic in front of that net. They've had a few good scoring opportunities on this power play. But both the goals that have come previously in this game have been from traffic in front of the net. As a face-off will come to the right. One back by the Jacks. Force doesn't quite manage it to glove that one down. As Hoffman will go in and battle for it there. As Force will pick it up. A late hit behind the play on Force. However, it's over to Williams. Williams give it back over to Grushka. Good try. Just gets caught up in his skates. And just give it back to Grushka who moves it up to Hoffman. Off of the shot, gloved down by the goaltender. And the goalie of Bodno trying his little tricks. We've seen that last game as well. 
as uh, he tries to get in the heads of the forwards. Just over three minutes left here in the third period as we're just over two minutes left in the five minute power play for the Tetons. Now just giving it over to Hoffman. Who gives it back to Williams? Williams over to Grushka. Who will just wait and set up again on the power play. Hoffman over to Grushka. Grushka over to Hoffman again. Shot by Hoffman, gets blocked in front. As Tetons had a little bit of numbers on the outside, Hoffman could have maybe tried to look for that backdoor Grushka there. And the shot comes in from Forrest, loose in front. Grushka has it. He tries to make a play oh, off the post, the post and it goes into the corner. Close call there for the Jacks. As it comes over to Grushka again, shot goes off a body and it goes back into the far side corner where the Tetons will pick it up. Off top of the force, but the Jacks managed to regain possession and they'll just eat it down into the corner and go and chase after it. And Hoffman will collect it in behind his own net. As a little over two change. minutes remaining. Stretch pass for Zagurski. Zagurski's in on a breakaway. And he gets caught up in behind the play there. No, no call, call again on, that. on the play. As that one was a clear hook from behind. As Zagurski was not allowed to get the shot off. And a clear opportunity. Less than a minute remaining here on the power play. Less than two minutes in the third period. As the play comes up to Dalton Johnson on the blue line. who will look to set up again. Who will give it over to Kenny Garrett. Shot from Kenny Garrett. Gets blocked in front. Picked up by Will Landsberg. By, good hustle by Landsberg Lansberg over there. to Garrett. Garrett shot. Gets sticked aside by the goaltender. This is picked up by Zagreskis on the half wall. Up to Johnson. Johnson down to Winkle. Winkle over to Zagreskis. Shot. Gets loose in front. After a good save by the goaltender. Good opportunities here for the Tetons. As Romroll moved up to Will Landsberg. Landsberg just takes it in the zone. Gives it over to Kenny Garrett. Tries to give it back to Landsberg, and that just doesn't work as it will bring down to the end of the five minute power play for the Tetons. No goal for the Tetons on the five minute power play. As the Jacks come back the other way now, picked up by Garrett. Garrett moves it over to Winkle. Winkle gives it over to Matt Mezik. Matt Mezik with speed. He comes in, tries a shot as it takes a deflection off the body. He tried to play in front of the net, still has it. Gives it over to Grushka. Grushka up to Dalton Johnson, who has time. Dalton Johnson back down to Grushka. Grushka in front of the net. Loose in front for Lincoln. Looking with a shot. Saved by the goaltender. As it comes up to Weltzko in the point. Shot goes over the top of the net. Up to Dalton Johnson who has time. Shot. Just gets uh, blocked, blocked in front. And it goes into the corner. Where Grushka will handle it. Give it over to Lincoln. And that just passes just out of his reach. As the Jazz come back the other way. Again a good back check from Lincoln. Allows the defense from the Tetons to a force them. stick by Weltzko to cut the pass. As Dalton Johnson will battle for it in the corner. A very exciting final minute of the game. As a penalty will be on the Tetons for a slashing call on, I believe, Matt Winkle. Fifteen seconds remaining in the third period and the Tetons are on the penalty kill. As it will, I believe, uh, if we have a tie game after, it will be a four on four, five minute extra overtime, and then after that it will be penalty shots. As I believe it will be a timeout for the Jacks. As you hear the DCP of Dakota College Botnell from the fans. A test of character here for the Tetons after being on a lot of offense. Now have to play defense to see this game through. As we are able to take a breather. Rest our voices a little.
So the two minute minor first slashing on the Tetons, Dylan Lincoln. We'll see the rest of this game on the penalty kill for the Tetons. And then it will go into overtime if no score is made. Where the Tetons will have to kill off the rest of the penalty as a good clear from Cole Weltzkel. As we're in the final five seconds left of the period. The final rush for the Jacks as they come in over the blue. Good stick there. And that is picked off. So that will be the end of the third period as we will go to overtime. A good close game here for either team. It is a very much even match game here tonight. This is a ex very exciting matchup. Although it is Over a time. very cold rink, it is definitely an exciting game to be a part of. As we'll take a quick break and then be ready to go with the overtime period. I do believe it will be straight into overtime, no shootout unless the five minutes of overtime has a goal in it. As a goaltender for the Jacks, try to claim his territory against Aaron Rommel. Aaron Rommel goes straight to the referee and tells him, get him back to his other end, as it will stay at the same ends. Def go definitely, uh, definitely the goalie of the Jacks is a vocal one. Another type of goaltending I like to see being played. Yeah, he's definitely a character. As we're ready to go here, four on four. Sorry, I should say five on four. As I guess it'll be five on five, four or five minutes in overtime. As the Jacks win the face off, and they'll just dump it in deep, and he'll go and chase after it. Picked up by Cole Welsko, rim it around the boards, chipped up, and it will be down the length of the ice by Tyler Forrest. The Jacks taking their time as they look to break this puck out. As the Jacks come into the zone, pass in front, picked off there by Cole Weltzko, as he didn't quite all well, as the Jacks player didn't quite get all of that puck, sent down the length of the ice, no ice and call, as Rama comes out to play, plays over to Forrest, takes an awkward bounce off the glass, and fair for the Tetons, though, as there's a two-on-one opportunity for Grushka, and Don Johnson going in the net, shot, and gloved down by the goaltender. As Grusha, I think, trying to make a backhand pass to Dalton Johnson, it just ticked just tipped the stick of the defenseman and went up into the chest of the goaltender. As that faceoff will be to the goaltender's right. Grushka up to Mikos Rinkin. Shot comes in, not covered by the goaltender. As we're in the final 50 seconds of the two minute penalty kill for the Tetons. Picked off by Matt Mezik in front. So just close. didn't manage to get the shot away as he was picked off the puck. Matt Mezik just eats it in the corner. Gives it over to Grushka. Grusha trying to delay time on this penalty as he does so. As he holds that puck in deep. Not letting that puck out. He'll hold that in all day long as long as he can. And we are down to the last 25 seconds of the penalty. Great job by Grushka. He managed to kill, the, kill 30 plus time. seconds on that penalty. As the Jacks look to set up again. It's picked off by Dalton Johnson. Try to rim it around the boards to Matt Mezik. Matt Mezik just didn't quite know where the puck was. Shot in from the Jacks. Gets blocked in front by Mikos Rankin. Batted out there by him. Shot comes in. Deflects it in front. Goes behind the net from the Jacks. 
And we're back to five on five as Lincoln comes away with the puck. He has speed, he has a one on one opportunity. He makes one move, comes in. And that one sticks from behind. So that one goes into the corner. As Bosco steps into a big slap shot as that one didn't quite get all of it. As it goes into the corner where Lincoln will make a nice hit, play it off the boards by the Jacks and come down the length of the ice. And an icing call here against the Jacks. Will be no change for the Jacks. And an opportunity for the Tetons to capitalize on the tired players out there. 2.47 remaining in the overtime period. Shots 38 to 33 in favor of the Tetons. Surely is a exciting game. As we're definitely on our toes. We hope you folks at home are too. As we have the indication that it's going to be four on four now. The referee just managed to just yes. decide to change their minds halfway through the game and go back to four on four. <laughs> As the faceoff is won by Matt Winkle, he throws it down to Henry Hoffman. Hoffman comes in with the shot, and that will be gloved down by the goaltender. As the Grishkis was lurking on the doorstep for the rebound. As we'll play this one again. Matt Winkle in the draw, one back by the Jacks. As they take their time. Jacks move it up and through the neutral zone. They come through with speed. Henry Hoffman stands his man up, allows Kowalski to go in and get that puck. Picked off by the Jacks though. As it comes back to Matt Winkle, Matt Winkle with it. He comes through in wide. It goes into the corner where Zagreskis will chase after him. And almost turned over by Zagreskis, but the Jacks managed to recover just in time. As they come back through the neutral zone. Looks like Tyler Legs out here for the Tetons and a good offside call there by the referee. Blows that one dead and allows fresh legs for both teams. Yeah, roughly, roughly two minutes remaining in the overtime. While both teams bring out fresh legs. Face off just outside of the Teton zone. We'll bring Tyler Forrest in with a draw. Face off one by the Jacks. They go straight on the attack shot. Good save by Romrel and a rebound. Save again by Romrel. As that one goes trickling in the corner. Romrel keeping his team in it. As Jacks move it off to the blue line. Shot opportunity for them. Shot comes in. Blocked by Tyler Forrest. As it comes out to the blue line again for the Jacks. He'll move it down into the half wall. Picked off by Andy Williams. Andy Williams will go in and chase after it. As the Jacks will regroup with the puck with a minute 32 left here in the overtime period. Jacks coming back down. Three on, sorry, just what well, looked like to be a three on two opportunity. As Grushka managed to get back in time. Shot goes off the side of the net. Picked up by Forrest. Forrest coming through the zone. He'll take his time. He'll come in. Shot goes off the leg pad. He'll just throw it in front. But instead it goes behind the net where we'll find Mikos Rankin on the far side. Picked up there by Grushka, gives it over to Forrest. Forrest with a shot, goes oh. off the crossbar. And it still stays in play as Grushka will come back through the neutral zone with it. Who gives it over to Dalton Johnson. Johnson over to Grushka. Grushka with speed, he comes in, tries to make a move, does so. Loose in front for Mezik, picked up there by the Jacks. Where Kuma makes a nice little chip, gives it over to Grushka, Grushka over to Mezik. Mezik has to be careful as it could be a break for the Jacks. And then it will be a two on one opportunity for them. And a penalty well deserved for the Tetons. Kuhn arguing it though, as there was an opportunity for the Jacks on a two on one. As the referee gives two minutes to the Jacks for roughing and two minutes to Travis Kuhn of the Tetons for slashing. We are at 32.2 seconds left in the overtime period, folks. It has been an exciting one. As it will be just outside the Teton zone. As we will now be three on three, I believe. I believe it will be three on three. 
unless they are coincidental. We'll see, we'll see. As it will just be coincidental penalties, so it will remain four on four. As the referee is debating whether the, whether the faceoff should be dropped outside Teton zone or inside. Because it was equal penalties, I believe it should be outside. Maybe I'm wrong. I am not a referee. As there seems to be a problem with the net, so we will wait for, I'm not too sure what they're gonna do about it. Maybe the pegs just aren't sitting in right, and they'll have to redo it. So now that the net is sorted, we will be underway again with the final 30 seconds left in the overtime period. As it will be four on four. The faceoff is one back to Henry Hoffman, who tries to find Nikita Zagurskis just too far ahead of him. He'll win that race. Good job by him. Managed to keep that in the zone. Gives it over to Winkle. Winkle tried to give it over to Zagurskis, but Zagurskis did not have a stick as it was knocked out of his hands. Three on two opportunity now for the Jacks. Given over wide, shot comes in, blocked aside by Romwell, good save by him. As it will be picked up again by Winkle with what I believe will be four seconds left in the overtime period. Hoffman with a puck, he'll come in now, he'll try and get a late shot on, no he won't, he'll just eat up time as we are going to a shootout. Well, second, folks. Sorry, for, sorry Terry, second time in the season for the Tetons going into the shootout as the previous one was against I believe Utah State. Utah State, I think. Yeah. yeah, Utah State, I think it was. Yeah, this has definitely been an exciting game so far. and It's going to be solved with a shootout here. I believe, I'm not entirely sure, I believe it will be best of three. It may be best of five to determine the winner. However, we never know what these referees might decide as Andy Williams will be the first shooter. Best of three, as the referee indicates, to the box. There'll be three shooters for each team, unless one team scores two. Before the other team scores two. And he with the shootout opportunity to get this shootout going. He is the Tetons top, top goal scorer of the season so far. He's looking to add to this here. As he comes through, he slows down. He comes in wide. Faked in the backhand, stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender read that one the whole way. Has now a chance for the Jacks to take the lead. Oh, I believe it's number 17, Tyler Pierce. Comes in with speed. He'll take a shot, good save by Romer. He tried to sneak it five hole, Romer shut the door on that one. As we have, still have no score here as Ryan Grushka steps in for the Tetons. Grushka with very quick hands. As he comes in slowly, builds up a little bit of speed, comes in wide, fix on the backhand shot, just saved by the goaltender. He got the butt end of the stick on that one. As we're still 
And that's number nine for the Jazz. Couldn't quite make out the name from the announcer as there's a lot of noise. And that's number nine for the Jazz. Comes in very slowly. And failed backhand attempt by him. Gets stopped by Aaron Romerill. As it looks like Dalton Johnson will be taking the third penalty for the Shetons. Still no score here for either team in the shootout. As Dalton Johnson comes straight down the middle, he stops, waits, shot, gets sticked aside by the goaltender. That must be a chance for number 21 of the Jacks to win it. The captain of the Jacks. As this is a loud building now, folks. As he comes in with speed, he comes in wide. He takes a shot, glove by Romer. It trickled wide, but he got it. That's a good save by him. Yeah, nice save by Romer. Get, a, get the glove out there. As we nice now save. have Tyler Forrest. Tyler Forrest with great moves, as we all know. He seems to take his time. He'll come in just a little bit inside. He'll come in, throw it five full, or glove by the goaltender, I should say. And we still have no score. Number 89 in for the Jacks now as we're at sudden death, folks. Both goaltenders perfect so far in the shootout. So he comes in with speed, slows down, shot, and a goal! For the Jacks, the Jacks will take this game. And a good shot by him, but goes over the glove side of Van Rommel. A very unfortunate game for the Tetons. As the Jacks take this one in a shootout, folks. As the players go over and give Romer a hug, as he certainly deserves it tonight. He played a solid game. A disappointing loss for the Tetons, but as you know, as you know can go either way. Yeah, definitely no reason for, for Romer to hold his head down. He played a good game. He definitely made some great saves for the Tetons, but shootouts are always, they can go either way. And Tonight it's an unfortunate result for the Tetons. So Tetons lose this one in a shootout, folks. Three to two. They lost a the shootout one to nothing. As we see the handshakes, we will be back, I believe, next weekend at home against Jamestown. We hope to see you there if possible. If not, we hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll see you next time. I've been Angus Ling along beside me as Sanitary Seppinen. Thank you, folks.